The Perfection. It is really hard to review this movie without spoiling it. And trust me, this is a movie you want to know as little as possible about going into it. This movie is a thriller slash horror starring Allison Williams and Logan Browning with a 90 minute runtime. This movie shocked me, I'm not gonna lie. There are some super slow scenes, but the perfection also has some ridiculously crazy moments in it as well. I usually save my rating for the end of the video, but for this review, I will mention it right up front. I think this movie is a 7.8 out of 10. It chooses to focus in on a select few characters as opposed to stretching itself thin and uses that focus time to seriously develop very interesting backstories for each character. It also has one of the most creative plots I've seen in horror in quite a while. Maybe not a completely new concept, but certainly not a cookie cutter story. It's not a kind of movie with jump scares every 5 seconds. Rather, it's one of those movies that gives you a constant uneasy feeling and adds to uneasiness with some violence and gore. With that being said, this film is not for everyone, as there are some very gross and disturbing scenes that are shown. I also purposely left out what the film's mainly about because I don't want you to even think you have a clue on what it could be about. The less you know about it, the better. Acting wise, the two main leads are phenomenal. I haven't said that about any movie I've reviewed so far, I believe. Allison Williams, or Rose from Get Out, is so incredibly believable she's starting to become one of my favorite actors in this type of genre. Her tenseness, seriousness, and how she reacts is basically perfect in every scene. Her counterpart, Logan Browning, is also quite a good actress. Not quite as amazing as Williams, but very convincing throughout. Something that really works about this movie is their chemistry on screen together. Up until this point, I've been praising the film, and the reason why it's not a 10 or anything close to that is one big reason. The ending. Remember, there's no spoilers. The ending is almost too explained for me and feels out of touch with the rest of the movie. There's a sudden music change which feels out of place, the characters suddenly behave differently, and it's just because it felt like the movie had to end. It's like this movie was 80 to 90% done and then was just rushed to completion. Maybe you will enjoy the ending, but personally I thought it was rushed and kind of ruined the overall pacing of the movie, which I thought was okay until that point. Wrapping it up with some last few comments, I thought the pacing, editing, and camera work were quite unique and effective until the ending. I normally don't mention camera work, but this film started to open my eyes to see repetition of themes displayed through those lens. Character acting and dialogue was also fine. I want to reiterate though, it's not for everyone. There are some very, very gross scenes. But if you can deal with them or close your eyes during them, I truly believe you will enjoy this thriller. Again, the perfection isn't perfection, but it is a 7.8 out of 10.